Morning, my friends. Wow, from my apartment, my incredible apartment in uh, Sul or in Tyr in the south of Lebanon. So first, just have a look at, uh, at my apartment. Look at that. So I have a, well, there is a bathroom, of course. And the bedroom. Very nice place. Yeah, and the, and the owners, the owner is uh, George and uh, his family, and uh, they gave me a really good deal for the for this uh, for this apartment. So it's called In Town, and I really recommend to to stay here. Super friendly and uh, and good deal. And let's go in the city, in the beautiful city of of Seoul. And let's go to have breakfast first. So that's the hotel here, and just there is the souk. So let's go in the souk, and uh, George, the very, very friendly owner, indicated, indicated me a place for uh, hummus. The, of course, the very famous, uh, the very famous uh, Lebanese or Middle Eastern, or from the Levant, let's say, breakfast. So let's go to try the, let's see if we can find the hummus of Sur. It's a little bit late, but uh, it's not yet midday, so I hope we can still find the... Uh, hope we can still find uh, the... Um, I hope the breakfast place is still open to have a late breakfast. Because I never showed you the... I never showed you hummus. So we need to... And that's, I mean, I can't travel in Lebanon without showing you hummus. So let's find the famous hummus of Sur or Tyr, the big city of the, of the south of Lebanon. So I think the hummus is supposed to be at the end of this street, the street of the souk, the beautiful souk of, uh, of Sur or Tyr. Hummus? Yes. Okay. Oh. This one is hummus. Yeah. This one is hummus. Okay. Oh, this, is the one. this one is like hummus. Like hummus. Okay. This one is hummus. And that's hummus. Ah, okay. Which one do you want? Uh, hummus? How much is the hummus? 25,000. 25,000. Okay, I'll get hummus. Okay. I can sit somewhere? Or? Oh, the, okay. Great, thank you. So we found the hummus. The place for hummus. Great. So they gave me some chili and some uh, olive oil for the, I guess, to put on the hummus. And uh, let's see what comes. So it costs 25,000, he, he told me. So it's uh, basically one dollar for the breakfast. The fantastic hummus breakfast in Lebanon. Just one minute, okay? One minute, okay. Bread. Ah, you bring the bread, okay, so can. Look at that. 
So that's it. You see, he gave me this bread. He gave me this bread. The chili. The extra olive oil, in case I don't have enough in here. The hummus with the olive oil as well, chickpeas. Some pickles, the bread. And so actually what's funny, I discovered that not so long ago. I don't know, actually hummus means uh, chickpea in, um, in Arabic. It's funny because it means the, the bean, the, the chickpea, the, the bean itself, but um, it also means the dish. While the dish is, uh, so the, dish is the chickpea um, turned it to, into a paste like that, but it's also mis mixed with uh, tahini, tahina, which is um, made from sesame. So the hummus, the, well, so the hummus, the dish, is not only made from chickpea, it's also made from sesame, but uh, it's still called uh, hummus, which means uh, chickpea in Arabic, basically. <laughs> Let's enjoy the hummus. Fantastic. The olive oil is so good. Very good. Awesome. You're welcome. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. So I'm done with the done with the hummus. And uh, I guess guys, let's go to explore the old city of Sur. So now we walk through the souk to go back towards the, the old city. So basically in Sur, the old city is separated into in two parts. So the city is basically a, a divide, is a partly Christian and, a, and, a, and partly Muslim. Hello, good, okay. Good, I'm happy when the people are friendly. Yes, yeah, so the city is uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so the uh, the old city is uh, half Christian, half Muslim. The, Sh the Muslims are Shia here. And uh, yeah, so basically the old city is uh, there is one half is uh, hello, hello. Shukran. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the the old city is uh, separated in two in two in two parts basically. Half is Christian and half is uh, is Muslim. So the plan for the for this the visit this morning. It's gonna be. Uh, let's say we're gonna we're gonna visit the Christian part first, and then we're gonna go to the Muslim part, and uh, and we will see what happens basically after the hummus. Sorry, uh, it's a bit hard to wake up today. So the city is called Sur. Sur is the Arabic name, and Tir is the Tir is the English name. I don't know why here in uh, in Lebanon all the cities have. Uh, Arabic names, English names, and they're very different from each other, basically. Like, for example, uh, Biblos, which is the English name, is called the Jbeil in, uh, in Arabic. That's on the, on the northern part of the country. And, uh, well, but it's very different. I have no idea why they have these uh, very different Arabic names and English names.
And uh, basically also, well, if I'm a little bit confused with the camera, it's also because uh, I was told in Beirut that especially in the south, well basically in the area con uh, mostly like controlled by the Hezbollah, so mainly the south of the country, um, you can't really film. So that's why I'm a little bit uh, cautious with the camera here, because, uh, well, you see there is the Virgin Mary there. But, um, so the city is partly is a half uh, Christian, half Muslim, but still it's an area co like mostly controlled by the Hezbollah. So, I'm a little bit uh, cautious, especially when I see looks that, uh, that are not so friendly. It worries me, basically. Yeah, and basically the guy who told me, uh, explained me the, that you should be careful when you film around here. He explained, he explained to me that, uh, especially in the Hezbollah dominated area, like in the south of the country, where, uh, where we are now, and in the south of Beirut also, which is the Hezbollah dominated, uh, basically the way it works, it's, uh, if they're not happy that you, you're filming or taking pictures, they kidnap you basically. <laughs> so they take you away. It's basically it's to scare you. They they kidnap you. They maybe they put you one day in jail, and then uh, and then the Lebanese army comes to rescue you. And uh, it happened to a couple of tourists basically. So that's why I'm a little bit uh, cautious with the camera here because I don't really wanna end up uh, being kidnapped because of uh, a filming in a, in a Hezbollah dominated area. Here we arrive at one of the first uh, spots with a nice view that is recommended to go to see, that is recommended um, for the tourists. And you can see there the snow capped mountain of Mount Lebanon. So, here in the south of the country, actually, the mountains are way lower. So that's why there are not many mountains behind the city. The high mountains on the on the coast it's mostly in the in the north and the center of the country and the more south you go the lower the mountains are. Look at that! What the hell is that? <laughs> That's funny! Looks like a small uh, cell, a small prison cell. Okay, let's go back down. Yeah, so basically, I documented myself a little bit, and um, so Sur is one of the one of, one of the oldest uh, continually inhabited uh, cities in the world. Actually, the city is almost uh, five thousand years old, and uh, and I got an answer for the for the name. 
So basically, Sur is uh, comes from the the name Sur comes from the Finnish name which was which was Sur, and uh, and of course, yeah, and of course, uh, Sur was uh, one of the one of the main cities at the Finnish times here on the coast of Lebanon. It's it is said that actually the city was a uh, was very important. Basically, at some point, uh, the Mediterranean Sea was called the Tyrian Sea because uh, because of the importance of uh, Tyr of the city of uh, the city here. So the name Sur comes from comes from Phoenician, the Phoenician language. The Phoenician name was Sur, and then Tyr comes from uh, first uh, the Hebrew name, which was uh, something starting with T. And then the Greek name, which was Tyros. I think uh, the Hebrew name was Zor, something like that. And then it was uh, Tyros in Greek, and then it became a Tyr something or so in, uh, in Latin. And uh, that's where the English name comes from, basically. So that's why you have those two names. Basically, the Finnish name and Hebrew name, and the Hebrew name became Greek, Latin, and English. Hello. Hello. Quite a fascinating city. I love this uh, maze of small alleyways, narrow alleyways. And look at that. The Mediterranean Sea. That used to be called the Tyrian Sea here. Maybe like 3,000 years ago when this city was striving and was of great importance on the in the Mediterranean Sea. And another, another thing I, 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 I read as well is that uh, apparently during the conquest of uh, Alexander the Great, uh, most of the cities around here were very happy with him uh, conquering them. So they just, uh, they would just accept the new, new ruler and uh, they, would, uh, they would not fight him. But apparently uh, Tyr did, uh, did resist they did resist and uh, Alexander besieged the city during quite some time and, uh, and the Tyrians sent uh, the old men, their women and their children to Carthage in uh, nowadays Tunisia so only the warrior stayed to fight Alexander but uh, well of course uh, Alexander did end up uh, winning so now we are in the main street of the of the old city. So actually that's the street that separates the Christian part on my left and the Muslim Shia part on my right. So that's kind of the border between the two parts of the old city. So now you can see we are on the on the Muslim side because you don't have uh, the the small uh, sculptures of uh, of Mary of Jesus, but you have the the fighters of the Hezbollah, the Hezbollah backed by uh, the Iranian government. So it's funny because the city is just the same, narrow alleyways, but it's, uh, it's not displaying, doesn't have the same heroes, basically.
اسمع زيح هيك شوي انتبه عم يصورها شكرا And I guess we are arriving on the other side, on the other side of the of the old city, of the Muslim part of the old city. It's very weird here. I have many people I, I pass by, I come by. Have you can see the sadness in the eyes? It's like it does not make you feel uh, happy, or uh, it does not make you feel uh, comfortable either. Because the people really look sad here to me. I don't know why, is it the crisis, is it the politics? I don't know, but uh, honestly, it does not look like a... I mean, the city is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. It's not big, but the small maze of, uh, of the old city is really nice, but, uh, but people look so sad. Quite weird. I mean, in all the parts of Lebanon, they would still smile, but here they say like "ahla u sahla," like you are welcome. That's what you say to the foreigner to show that he's welcome. But they'd say to you with like, as if uh, they were uh, going to a funeral. Quite weird. Anyway, and you can see. The history of uh, of Tyr here, so there are uh, there are sites with ruins all around the city because uh, the city is, has been inhabited since uh, almost 5,000 years. So that's why you have uh, you have remains everywhere. Remains of the previous civilization civilizations. Because who was here? The Phoenicians were here. The Persians were here. The Greeks were here. The Latins were here. Then the Umayyad were here. The Turks. And now it's a, an independent place. But yeah, it's a place uh, rich, very rich in history. Full, full of his history. And as you can see, and they're there, it's funny to see that uh, you see the, the modern buildings are built on top of, uh, of old ruins, basically. So it's a, a layer of, uh, of architecture. Well, it's a layer of, uh, you have, the modern city is probably built on a lot of uh, old uh, ancient buildings here. Like in most of the cities where uh, you have a lot of history. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess we are arriving at the end of the old city. So let's see if we can find some ruins uh, somewhere in the new city. And, uh, and then I guess that will be it with this video. Okay, so we arrive at the city of Albas, I think. Don't remember the name. I'm a little bit uh, disturbed, actually. Oh, should be careful again. I... So complicated around here. There is a, an army thing just in front of the site. And I have the camera in the hand, so... Should be careful, because actually, I'm just going out, I'm just coming out. So let's visit, basically, let's visit the, the, the ruins, the site, 
and I will tell you a story that has nothing to do with the with the site because I'm just out of the of a military thing. I got uh, arrested for <laughs> during like a, maybe one hour, one hour and a half, something like that. I was in the military base because I filmed near a near a military thing, and it's not allowed. So they arrest me and they brought me inside. But in the end, they were very uh, they were very friendly. <laughs> they even tell me like, "Oh, welcome to Lebanon." <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, well, they were not happy that I filmed next to the military thing, but they were really super friendly, very respectful, and basically they very, f I mean, I said the truth, so then they saw I was not, uh, not hiding anything, so I guess that's why uh, they did not, uh, they did <laughs> that's why they were friendly and they, they <laughs> and they were not uh, well. They, they, that's why they, they they let me go. I think they. I, I will see, but I, I think they did not even delete the, all the footage I have on the camera. So I should be able to to show you the, what I filmed this morning in Tier, <laughs> despite being uh, detained by the army. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, I, I was not able to film inside, obviously, because they took my camera, they took my phone, they check everything inside. They tried to look at me like with uh, serious eyes, but uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not. <laughs> a guy traveling with a bike is not a is not a threat for a country. I just did the mistake of uh, filming near a, a military thing. I paid for uh, for being stupid. I'm tired today. Made the wrong decision and ended up in the being detained but now I'm free again <laughs> so let's visit the Albas I think it's I think it's the name the site the ruins of Tyr of Sur Okay, I guess that the beautiful street with the columns, the beautiful, from the beautiful ruins of Tyr, of Sur, I guess that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. After the experience, the not filmed experience, being detained. But uh, I have to say, very, very, uh, well, they were very nice, really. The military was very nice with me. Look at that. That looks like uh, almost an old stadium. Ciao, guys.